knows that to fix the deficit, you're going to have to raise taxes and you're going to have to cut spending. And anyone that tells you otherwise is lying to you. That's what's going to have to happen. The American public knows it's going to have to happen like that. You're just not getting that kind of political debate from our leaders at the moment in Washington. And the big question is, are America's politicians up to the challenge? Part of the problem is that our politicians spend so much time raising all that money that I spoke about earlier. Congressmen and women spend a third of their time fundraising rather than doing the job. A third of their time making calls to raise money. They are terrified of compromise. And yet, as I said earlier, if you're going to do the big things in this country, you are going to have to compromise. We're not going to get entitlement reform without the two sides working together. But compromise has become a dirty word in the country. And without it, I don't think the big things can get fixed. We have fewer liberal Republicans and conservative Democrats on Capitol Hill than we've ever had in America. Olympia Snow, a moderate Republican from Maine, resigned, said she wasn't running again because she felt she couldn't get the job done, because there was no room for compromise. And I think that um, without it, the country is in, is in big trouble. We need to get back to a situation where we can compromise, and I fear that some of the responsibility for that comes from my profession, that we have a media that is so partisan at the moment that everything is seen through a political prism, whether it is abortion or gun control or the deficit. I mean, since when did the deficit become such a hot political left-right issue? This is an economic issue. But you can't say or do anything at the moment in politics or in the media without it suddenly being seen as being overtly political and being tagged as either being left or right. And I think that that needs to change. I and mean, we know from all the studies that if somebody spends all their time listening to Fox News, they become increasingly conservative. If somebody spends all their time listening to MSNBC, they become increasingly liberal. You start thinking that what you're hearing on television is the facts. These are views channels to some extent, they're not news channels. And I think people need to get back to an old-fashioned space. This is where the BBC starts you know, shining a light on me. Um, and my bosses start patting me on the head. But it is true. We need a forum where you can go and listen to the news and then go away and form your opinions. And I think then we would be in a space where we could start talking to each other again. And that's when America can start getting the big things done.